hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel over the course of a couple days i'm going to be just doing a whole bunch of book related stuff starting new books starting anticipated reads reviewing and talking about recent books that i finished going to the local library and annotating books and just so much more so follow along on a little journey i'm going to have so much fun recording this video and like subscribe and comment if you want Been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Been gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast, and we do what we want. At this time, doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no maybe In the meantime In the meantime In the meantime a beast like Odell. Oh, my mom, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mark of the New York to sell. Oh, now my bitch is traditional. Will you be my leading lady? This is what I'm eating for breakfast this morning. I have oatmeal and then just some eggs over here. So I'm going to read a little bit more of my book. As I eat, only been days with a few like months. We go for you on your life. I'm just sitting out here. Um, this book is so good. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what it is about. Um, I'm to set you guys up right here. Okay, so pretty much it follows Alyssa and Logan, and they come from this small town. And Logan is from like the wrong side of town, druggies, drug dealers, criminals, all that. And his mom was a was a crackhead. Um, so and his dad was a drug dealer. So he kind of fell into the life a little bit after a situation. Well, no, let me explain it better. Sorry. And then Alyssa is from a bit more um put together family she has a mom but her and her mom don't have the best relationship she has a sister who have who has a good relationship with and her dad was in and out of her life so pretty much they after a situation happens in a, a grocery store they become best friends and they're best friends for like a while and it shows them connecting to each other and them even falling in love and being in a relationship a situation happened and it caused Logan to go on a deep end and he ended up going going into like drugs and uh, and then the drugs caused a really big accident to happen that affected him, his brother, Alyssa and Alyssa's sister. So he decided, you know what? He didn't really decide, his brother kind of put it on him like, you know what, it's time for you to go into rehab. So he um, had to go to a, a while, a while me. Wait, hold on, where did he go? I don't know. But he went somewhere to go to rehab because he was honestly affecting so much people around him in a negative way. And that's kind of it. Um, and he he left. And it's, it's like a second chance. It's like a, a best friends to enemies to um, lovers. Or like best friends to enemies to friends again to lovers. I'm finally starting a dress for the summer. I read a little bit more. Um, the, I don't know, I, mean, what, I don't remember what the book I was reading, so. The Fire Between High and Low, I am on page 183, um, 54% in. 
so I want to start just for the summer. I have my tabs, my pencil case, so I'm about to start it. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. See me in the mirror, I duck myself. And I don't need muscle, fuck my wealth. It's currently 11.04 and I'm walking to the library. Um, I've never been to this library before, so hopefully it's nice. I have five books to drop off. So, yeah. Okay, here's the library. I've never been to this one, so hopefully it's nice. I had like good reviews online, but I'm so hot right now. I just want to go in and drop my stuff off, drop the books off. I might stay for a tiny bit. And then I wanna go back home. Um, is this where I enter? Wait, no. <laughs> That'd be weird. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna record when I get in there and see how it looks. Oh, so sad. I 
of books I want to get. I don't want to get too much books, but I also have to go see you guys. My phone's gonna die, so I think I'm gonna like. I'm only gonna take like five books. I wasn't even supposed to take out any. I just told myself I'm gonna drop all the books and leave. Come on, me now. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like still looking, even though I said I need to leave. I don't think I see any more that I really want to take out, though, that's the thing, like... I'm not gonna lie, I'm the type of person to judge a book by its cover, I know, I'm sorry, but if the cover sounds to be me, then this sounds good, hold on, wait. book one and two or just book one and then come back for the rest if i like it but like i feel like i'm gonna like it and then like i'm gonna want to read book two like immediately after you know so i don't know yet because i only wanted to take out five but like it's okay i could do it i'm a pretty fast reader but like i tend to forget about physical books because i'm always reading on my kindle or on my phone so like i know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna get book one and two. And if I like it, I'll just come back and get book three and four. And um, those, this is the pile I'm gonna get for sure. These are ones that I'm iffy about. I don't know if I really wanna get them or not. These are the four that I'm like, mm. like I do, I did wanna get a like mystery. So, but like I have, have one mystery out from the library already so it's like i haven't even read that one so am i really gonna read that one like i gotta figure out I'm only, gonna, I'm only gonna pick two so two have to go and two have to stay so that way i only take out six books um i couldn't control myself and i ended up getting seven books i ended up getting one i ended up getting two more over what i said i was going to get I definitely think this is gonna be like my go-to. <sighs> my go-to library, but like the neighborhood is like, that's why I'm like, I don't know if I wanna come here too often, but I am. I am, it's not like a terrible, terrible neighborhood. It's just also not the best, but um, bag secured. Maybe I should have brought a bigger bag. I will next time, cause they're literally poking out, but what the hell? There's cops arresting someone right now. It's like crazy as I just said, like the neighborhood is not the best. Why did I just see two people getting arrested and three cop cars? <sighs> I need to hurry up and get home. Hi guys, so I wanted to, I just finished recording the um, intro to this video. So I just wanted to, show you guys all the books i got i ended up getting seven books from the library i love going to the library honestly i always end up going there and getting at least five or more books so these are the books that i got i got expiration date by rebecca Serly. Serly, i don't know if i'm saying her name right but this is about daphne bell is my say i don't know if i'm saying that daphne yeah daphne and jake and daphne always gets I'm gonna just read the little summary back here for you guys. Daphne Bell believes that the universe has a plan for her. Every time she meets a new man, she receives a slip of paper with his name and a number on it, the exact amount of time they will be together. She has been receiving the paper for over 20 years, always wondering where there might be one without an expiration date. Finally, the night of a blind date at her favorite restaurant, there's only a name, Jake. 
but as Jake and Daphne's story unfolds, Daphne finds herself doubting the paper's prediction and wrestles with what it means to be both committed and truthful because Daphne knows things Jake doesn't, information that if he finds out will break his heart. I think that sounds pretty cool. The only downfall I feel like with this book is how big the fonts are. This was the only copy they had there. So like, I don't understand why the fonts is so big, but it's okay. Um, this one, I was so excited. It was actually the first one I picked up. No, second. Um, at the library, Divine Rivals. I was not gonna get it because I was just like, it's a, it's a, uh, what was it called? It's a duet. And they didn't have book two, but I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I'll just read this one and I'll try to go on like an illegal website and read book two. Try to go on like an illegal website and read book two. So, um, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. It follows Iris and Roman. And Iris has been going through a lot. So it says, after a century of sleep, the gods are warring again. The 18 year old Iris just wants to hold her family together. Her mother is suffering from addiction and her brother is missing from the front lines. Her best bet is to win the columnist, columnist, columnist. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Promotion at the Oath Gazette. But to combat her worries, Iris received, writes letters to her brother and slips them beneath her wooden, her wardrobe door, which they vanish into the hands of Roman Nit, her cold and handsome rival at the paper. When he anonymously writes back to Iris, the two of them forge a connection that will follow Iris all the way to the front lines of the battle for her brother, the faith of mankind, and love. So it's an epic enemies to lovers. I love that. I feel like it sounds so good. So I bought, not bought, I got book one and two of Heartstop, Heartstopper. It's pretty much in a YA high school LGBT romance. It's a graphic novel. Ever since I've been into reading, I've never read a graphic novel. So this will be my first one, so I'm excited. I took a couple bookmarks from the library, so let me take those out. I got book one and two because I was like, just in case I really like book one, I want to dive into book two. And if I like book two, I'll read book three and four because they had all the whole series there. Um, Three more books. Mr. Nice Guy. I think this is the first one I'm going to start because I'm very excited to read this one. This one follows Lucas and Cameron. And Lucas just up and left his life and he's going to the Big Apple to make this big break um, and have some like magazine job or whatever. So one night he meets a gorgeous Cameron kelly and they end up having a one night stand but kelly she writes about him in like her magazine i guess or for like a magazine um section and she says how he was awkward he was nerdy and he just was not a very good experience so when she does when he discovers that she said that about him he writes a rebuttal and and he publishes it and they kind of just start writing to each other about all these different stuff and I, I'm i I'm so excited to read it because I think it's going to be so so good oops sorry. um I got only this is the only like non-romance book I got which was Five Survive by Holly Jackson I love Holly Jackson I really need to go watch A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series because it just came out so I need to go watch that honestly but I'm, I'm watching another show right now so that's going to have to wait but this pretty much follows Red yeah red kennedy they're on a road trip and it's her and her five friends then when their rv breaks down in the middle of nowhere with no cell service they soon to realize this was no accident they have they're then trapped by someone out there in the dark someone who clearly wants them dead with eight hours until dawn the six friends must escape or forget which of them is a target but there's a liar but is there a liar among that among them Buried secrets will be forced to lie and tensions inside the RV will soon reach deadly levels. Not all of them will survive the night. So it's six people, one of them dies, and that's why it says five survive. Last but not least is the dating plan by Sarah Desi. Desi? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a marriage of convenience. So pretty much it follows Daisy and Liam. And Daisy is Liam's best friend's sister. And she's very like work driven she's not really too much focused on love but 
her family expects her to get married and are kind of like constantly pushing it so and Liam needs to get married in order to get Will from his late grandfather so when sparks kind of start flying when they're on a date they decide you know what let's have a fake relationship you know an engagement so that we can so you could get your family um off your back and i could get my share of the will from my grandpa so yeah that's, that's how it is i probably should start hearts heart stopper first because it, it's probably going to be a lot easier to read because it's you know a graphic novel but i'm not going to i'm going to start mr nice guy because i think i'm gonna end up loving it so i'm not gonna start it right now though but i am gonna eventually start it a little bit later talk to you guys later It's like some like sisterhood book. Uh, <laughs> please go back. Ugh. Oh no, I'm sorry. She's known that she is half Native American. She also knows that her mother was adopted by a white couple and has no family. I honestly think I might take this one, but like, I think I'm supposed to come back up, up here and like, drop another one off. When I'm walking my dog tomorrow, I'm gonna come back here. Because I like, this is, where is it? Books in there because they've never had that much books in there. Like the most amount of books that's been in there is probably like five. But unfortunately, a lot of the books were kids books. <sighs> so, but it's okay, at least I got one book. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna look it up on Goodreads when I go. Actually, no, I'm gonna look it up now on my phone. Stayed off, you. Stop, I'm not trusting you. 